Greetings, everybody. I hope you're okay and I hope you're fine. It is a new week. It is Monday, the 25th of September, and I hope you had a great Saturday and Sunday. A strong end, not a weekend, but I hope you had a lovely, strong end. I hope you had a lovely, strong end. You had me, not a weekend, but a strong end. Why? Let the week say I am strong. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Let the week say I'm strong. So I hope you had a strong end. And now you're beginning on a strong seven days. No time for weakness here. Let the week say I'm strong. So the week is strong. So happy new strong. Hope you had a lovely strong end. Let the week say I'm strong. So happy new strong. It is Monday the 25th. I am geared up. I'm excited. I'm in the mood. Why? Well, I had a strong end. I was on the weekend. I was strong. I was strengthened. Oh, I love this. I was on the weekend on the weekend, but I was strengthened on the strong end of the Saturday and the Sunday. I'm super. I'm duper. I'm fantastic. I'm great. I am in the mood. I'm ready to talk to you guys and say thank you to chat to engage to give you statistics talk about power talk about uh, your masters and much more all this tonight on the show on the church for the show it is mindful mondays where we might talk about be mindful be aware so welcome to mindful mondays on the church for the show tell your friends tell everybody they can also maybe see news hey it is here come on live let us all drive in and get to know the latest around the world and get to know what we can be aware of about mindfulness be aware be aware take care today is mindful monday be aware notice what's happening around you who's watching who's not watching who are you finding who are you pleasing what are you doing tonight's topic is about do not outshine the master it's about never outshining the master all right Do not outshine your master. Do not outshine your master. And I repeat, do not outshine your master. So this is the title for today's show. Talk about who you are and who the master is. I mean, you, you gotta learn to know who are your masters and who it is. I know some say it's, it's giving in to the system. I'm not, I'm not saying that whereby you're almost saying the way where you're being oppressed this difference there's obeying and there's outshining there's a difference i'm not saying obey i'm saying outshine don't outshine the master especially now or before or whatever it is it's still about being aware of your actions and your talents and how you portray yourself in public and and if what you might give what you hope to achieve sometimes might be the other way around isn't it definitely so thank you for tuning in we're going to talk about outshining the master what the master is why shouldn't have shined them and how you can do good with your talents in a way of getting recognized without outshining others sometimes you gotta play a bit wise like who am i offending yes for example now you might be outshining somebody here definitely but are they my master no they're not the difference you gotta know who your master is who you, the one who you choose to serve or who is offending you but you gotta know who you want to please and who you're pleasing the difference yeah, so welcome to the show. Oh, yes. I'm geared up, sat up straight, ready to uh, tackle this lesson. So thank you for coming in. I'm grateful for your attention, for your time, for your effort, for your likes, for your positive comments, for your feedback. I'm thankful for the strong end, for the new strong. I'm thankful for the new seven days coming up, for the good times coming up ahead. I'm thankful for all the tribulations, all the trials, all the rejections, all the hatred, they were trying to use you, trying to abuse you. I am grateful for all that because they have come to me, they have come to my aid. So I'm thankful for the good times. Thank you to Facebook for this platform. Thank you for those who created the Wi-Fi, the live streaming, the apps, using what amazing. Thank you for using my equipment, all those who manufactured it. So thank you for all the great minds behind this, like the great masters. So thank you all for making this moment happen. 
not about me, but it's about who created the software music, the mic, the speaker, the platform, the page, the scrolls, you know, the lighting I'm using, everything. It's about somebody for the body and created it. So I'm grateful for all that. Yes. Shall we dive in? Definitely. So before we begin, so the title is Do Not Outshine Your Master. It's a tricky one. I would say it could be tricky or not. Maybe. Could be tricky, could not be tricky. But the key is when I talk about outshining your masters. There's a time you can kick out your masters, like in times of slavery or times of pressing you, the time you that's different from outshining. The time when you got kicking them. So outshining is not about when you're pressed or when you want to overcome them or you want to uh let's say you want to move on. That's different. That's more like uh you want to divorce or you want to dump or you want to quit. That's different from outshining the masters. Yes. Before we begin, I want to talk about who what are masters? Who is a master? Just to get it clear, depending on what master is. So generally, the master was a man who was has people working for him, especially servants or slaves, a long time ago. A master was a man who has who had people working for him, especially servants or slaves. A master is a man in charge or woman, mostly man, who's in who's in charge of a, of an organization or group. A master is a man who is in charge of of an organization or group. Yes, so somebody is someone who's in charge of something. Could be someone in a group, or could be have four servants. So that is a master. But nowadays we don't use the word that often, so it's more of the olden days that people are people used to use the word master. Now we got different names now. It's covered now. It still happens, but it's covered now. People use it as CEO or some some is friend. Yeah, some is lawyer, you know, what's are now the masters, they've hidden under different names now, they've got smarter now. So a master is a person who with the, with the ability or power to use, control or dispose of something, of something. Yes. A master is someone who has the ability or power to control or use something. In a nutshell. Someone who has the ability or power to control something, to use it perfectly. You are, you become a master. Not just any jack of a trade. I don't be, you know, not any, but a man can control it properly. That is who a master is. I'll use my lovely encyclopedia here. Google. So if you look Google, what's Google say? Yeah. Have my lovely stuff on this side because of Google's. So a master is historical is a man or woman or master a man who has people working for him, especially servants or slaves. Now it is modern, so the not say the word master, they will say something else. But it's still going on, isn't it? Overlord. So similar as Lord, Overlord, a Lord and Master, the ruler, the sovereign, the monarch. The liege, you know how the word the liege. A liege lord, a suzerain, an overseer, superintendent, a director, a manager. Nowadays we have these words. Nowadays we they have the words master as a director, as a manager. Now it's, it's, it's okay, it's, it's most calmer, but it's the same thing happening. Controller, leader, governor, commander, padron, captain, head, headman, a boss, a principal, employer. This is number one. Employer, now there's people's masters that become now, this is the word, now we're actually employing you. This it kind of sounds like it's giving you benefits. Foreman, chief, top dog, honcho, head honcho. A big chief, big daddy, a gaffer, governor, a governor, kahuna, no other word, a sachem. So these are other words for you who say you got employers and it's, it's, it's giving you money and it's giving you a good time. That is your master. Your employer is your master. As I said before, the master was was quite it was quite hard. People say, oh, it's, it's, it's just what master says. Oh, that's slavery straight away. But now they're ah, let's come smart. I'm your employer now. Like, oh, that, that's, that's easier. Same thing hasn't changed. Just different name. So now the masters are your governors, your managers. Those are your masters. I mean, masters, then you calm down. So those are your masters. When you have a, a director, a manager. Why well, I say those two because are the most common. Director, manager, and employer are the most common ones. We've got the uh, captains, well, for the armies, but that's different. They are trained to be that. And they're told to come in army. But in the masters, managers, and Employers, you're not really told. It's, it's like they're taking your time. You're not given your value. In the in the army, it's different because they're trained. They're going to war. They're going to kill. 
And it comes like no, I don't think once people go to the army are deceived to go to the army. It's very rare for someone in the army to be deceived because they're going to fight. It's an army, it's there. You got a captain, he has to command you. There's a troops, so they're disciplined. When it comes to manager and uh, employer, they don't really tell you. You don't really know what you're getting into, or you f you feel like it's secure, but it's not what you really want. With other ones, they are normally something you want or you're very prepared to do. But in most cases, people are not prepared to go to work. Because why? They don't like the job. They're just doing it for security and for the money. So the masters now have changed. Now the masters are called employers and managers. That's what they're adding today. So now, who is your employer? Who is your manager? Who is your employer? Who is your manager? That is your master. So never outshine your employer. Never shine your manager. <laughs> Does that make sense? Because people saying, "Oh, Josh, you know, I've got a job, and it's, I hate the job, and uh, they don't make me do miss, make me do that." I mean, who are they? They don't pay, they don't pay me well. Well, because that is your master. Employer is another name for your employee. Is a master. It's like you get to a job, you get you have a master. So he has rights over you. By getting a job, you are surrendering your rights to them. That means you, I am becoming your sovereign or your S L A V E. I repeat, your employer is your master. You have become the servant, so you are putting yourself underneath them. Some are good, some are great, I won't lie. Some are great, some masters are very great. But in most cases, they are, most people who are, have jobs are not happy because it's not, something, it's not a great deal. There are, there are cases where they like people are actually good and have a great master, and it goes perfect well. That is good. But in the majority of the cases we know, the, in the whole world, some people are not really happy with the jobs they have. Those are the few who are happy with the jobs they have, with great masters. The majority of masters are weak, uh, dangerous, the tyrants, they are... Uh, and yet, they are masters. So they have, they chose. So it's, nobody's wrong, nobody's right. Because you chose... You, you said you wanted the money, it was secure, and then you go for a job. That's what people must go for, for the money and security, that's it. When you think of the other side. With the army, it's different, because they know they're going to work, but they might get killed, they might go to war, so they know both sides of the story. With a job, people don't know that. They don't know you're going to work hours you're told what to do you're going to change your job you may have to get transport that's different most other industries do you know exactly what you're getting into except the job and employers people don't know what they're getting into sometimes and so they end up hating it they end up getting worse than they were why because they become the servant they place themselves as subjects unknowingly and so you think as an employer no he's a master he or she is a master they own you they own you behind so definitely you gotta be mindful of what you sign up for this is mindful mondays at the show so be aware of the jobs you're applying for be aware of your master who you're applying to could also be your landlord could also be your yeah your employer landlord your captain most cases now we have landlords and employers and managers that's the majority of people are because they need housing they need a job the rest uh, yeah and the army is different but yeah landlords Managers and employers, those are the majority you have in the UK here and in the Muslim because you get someone to stay and someone to give you money. So they become your masters in most cases, especially the employers and the managers. So think about it before we begin our show. Let me read my notes. Hold on. Yeah, so definition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Definitely. So those are the definition of master. So your master is your employer. I repeat it your master is your employer. So when you go to a job, he has the rights to tell you what to do, rights to. Actually, you have no right in most cases. You have, yes, you'll have an employer, you have a right, but you have to give servitude for a length of time of hours and you must do it for the pay. At times they give you a minimum wage pay and people are happy with it. They're enjoying it, they're happy. I had a job once, I agree, before, but I said never again. I realized, God, no, Josh, I know it's, it's, it's monthly, it's good. Yes, the pay was, was monthly, it was secure, but what I went through, I didn't like it. I didn't want to do all the time and my backs had pains. Waking up early in the morning, I, had, I said, no way, I'll, no chance. I said, no, not because I don't want to work. I want to work, but not in that sense of mind. I said, no, this is definitely sub servitude. I said, no chance. It's 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 caution. It's sh sh sugar coated. You know, that word, I don't mention it. I said, no way. I did. I liked the idea of, of what I was doing. I enjoyed the... The job is good because you enjoy you use your skills you use your mind is great but it's the length is the repeated day in and day out and extra things which are unhealthy that's, that's the only point in most jobs some jobs are great people enjoy them they go they have fun they engage they get paid they they, they discuss with the manager they talk they have their understanding that is perfect 
But in many cases, it's not the, it's not the case. And once you're down, they replace you. And that's it. I said, oh, good. I said, that's it. Time out. Goodbye. Never, ever again. Why? Well, I could realize this is good. I've tried. I have, it's likely money comes in every month. But you think money goes? I want to have end of the month. Nothing. Why? I have money, but I have less health, less time for myself. I have, less, I have more injuries sometimes. You've got less energy at the end. Like, ooh, that's a big trade out. Your money comes in. You can pay your bills, but... What you have left, your energy is gone. You got time for yourself. You're losing, you're losing uh, your skills. You're losing some friendships. You're losing some. You can't travel much. You can't do much. You're like, ah, oh, this is exactly the trade off. I said, no chance. I'd rather not have a job than have a job and lose out of my other gifts. That was my choice. I said, no. I've survived so far. So I'm saying, I have made it. So I'm not going to say my journey says it's bad. But if you can, if it's not something you're into, think twice. Especially now when people lose their jobs now. You are, but definitely. So your lord, your overlord, your lord and master, your rulers, those are your employers. Some names, some position has different change. Employer now is more acceptable in community, like, oh, it's more calm. People are like, oh, it sounds more smoothing. There's a little sugar on top, like, oh, it's cute, it's sweet. <clears throat> I'm gonna apply, yes, I'll sign, I'll sign. They're like, oh, oh, oh I got to. You want to sign that paper and you say, yeah. Like, aha, get to work. Are you fast days, you're happy? First week, you're happy, two weeks, you're happy, and then your third week is like, hold on a minute, what's going on here? It's going on and on and on. Why? Because you have signed over your health, your dreams, your life. If you get a great master, please keep a bite. But if you haven't got a great master, that is the problem. I'm using one master instead of, of employer. If you've got a great master, that is good, but you have not. Chances are you are going to suffer. So I hope you have a great, if you have a job, I hope you have a great master. I hope you do have a great master and a great manager. I mean your employer, your manager, or your landlord. Otherwise, you'd be at the receiving end. And you wouldn't be able to do anything about it because it's a contract unless the contract expires. So I do urge you on Mind for Monday, be aware of the things you signed. Could be a contract, could be a job, could be a business, could be a business deal, could be buying a house. Be careful know who your master is because the devil disguises himself as an angel of light the bible says clearly the devil comes as an angel of light like i'm here to help you but he's a devil that's the some masters are like that they, they're wolves in sheep clothing nothing nothing wrong with the wolf but the wolves should be a wolf in wolf's clothing let the wolves be the wolves and that is the height under managers and uh, employers majority of cases and people are suffering Definitely people are suffering around the world so if you're one of those i don't have a master for jobs it's if I could get a job I something which I'll read for the terms and conditions. Then I'll see if I can benefit, if I can do it for a few months. If I can do it, then I'll go for it. The pay is good, there's good benefits, the hours are great. I see do I have to give any other hours? How long for what they need before if, if any if, not, if I'm gonna get fired, what are, what are they paying me for the agencies? If I get pension, do I get a uh, holiday pay? I'm gonna look for all that. If I was to do that again. Now I have to know that I've said, right, what do you want to work for? What, who are you? What are your values? What is your credit? What's your history? Look at your employers. Look at other employers. Look at other employees. Are they suffering? Are they happy? If they're happy and it's good and it's genuine happiness and they're playing well, then apply for it. But if not, that's an alarm. That's a signal. Don't. No matter how good the pay is. If I was about again, I would go, I'll look for that. But chances are, I'll never ask again. I will promise you, no matter how you're paying a million pounds, for to pay to work, I'll probably say no because I, I like my time now. I'm enjoying my space so much. I don't want no money is worth it enough for me to give away my time. Only an hour would be great, but you know, you know what I mean. There's definitely so that is a master. So, for those who've been asking, never outshine your master. Why? Because your master is someone who has rights over you. You are in servitude to your master if you get a job. Uh, landlord, not so easy because. It depends on the country. Like in the UK, we have a landlord association, so you get equal rights and all that. But but the key is the employer and the manager, because they are the ones who are really, they're right ahead of you, and they really pressure people to do the job. And in the cases that people who are new, who are complaining day in, day out about the jobs, manager, like, I said, that's your master. You didn't know it, but that's your master. So I, have to, I can't say you hate them. That is your master. So you, start, you apply for the job, right? I warned you, don't do it, but you said I need it because I have no money, so you say it, so it's a trade-off. 
You can't complain. You wanted the money, you got the money, but you got to work for the money, which is extra hard work. So many around the world are in this trap. Some of them are doing well, but majority of people are not doing well. We're looking at statistics. Majority are not doing very well in terms of employment or masterment. <laughs> because the masters are not the, the ones who have their interests at heart. Majority of masters don't have the interests of their employees or their servants at heart. They're those who are great. But if they don't have the value or of human life or of, uh, of love, or they don't have virtuous uh qualities in them i repeat if your masters don't have that love that genuine love that virtuous love that care for other people you are in a pickle unless you can handle yourself if you can handle yourself go for it but if your master i by master I mean your employer don't have you interest at hand is inside the contract then get ready for the the devil in disguise some are strong enough to handle it, that's great, but some people know, some people are weak, so they can't handle that stress of work. If you got a positive mind, you get that mention, you can handle the jobs, you can defend yourself, you can do that at a job. But in most cases, some people aren't. They are not ready for that stress, for that. They're not assertive enough to say no to the, to the master or to, you know, to work. So you gotta learn who your master is, definitely, yeah? On that note, I'm going to talk about the masters and why. Because if you look in the UK, I'm going to talk about show this website. This is from tradingeconomics.com about uh, joblessness. People who have no jobs, no have no masters, because why? It's growing up. So the US jobless rate, moving on to some other examples before you go to the note to meet. So the US jobless rate unexpectedly rises to 3.8%. So the unemployment in the rate in the US rose to 3.8% in August 2023. That was last month, from 3.5% in July. This is the highest since February 2022, as last year, and above market expectations of 3.5%. The number of people, or no, number of unemployed people increased by 514,000 to 6.355 million. Unemployment levels rose by 202,000 to 1.6.484. So most of the stats in the US, as according to trading economics, yes, But that was the latest one right now for those who are in the US. I use the US because the US is one of the, at the moment, it's still the power, still the power. But if you want to look rate by country, there's a lot more here. So these are the masters who give you the jobs. So the employment rates, non formal payrolls, government payrolls, non form payrolls, manufacturing, unemployed, average hourly earnings, average weekly hours, all these are there in economics. So unemployment rate by country, I'm going to go for that in a second. So here we are. So we've got Singapore, Switzerland, South Korea, Japan, Russia, all these are the unemployment rates around the world. So the highest is the blue. South Africa, Angola. The highest is Angola. We have South Africa is the highest unemployment rate. Libya. So most of the African countries, most of the high unemployment rate. But if you check right here, you can go through the whole site. You can see some of the indications. Here, United Kingdom, we are right here. That is us. Peep. So this is our statistics. For those who want to talk about jobs, want to find out what What's happening in the world? You can check this website out. I'm going for the whole thing, but you can see who your masters are and where the jobs are. I'm looking for a new master, somewhere to go, a good master. You can see where there's less jobs and you can understand where to move to. So Poland means the same. Taiwan job lowest than 23 years. Dutch jobless rate unchanged at seven. And Argentina jobless rate eight year low. Luxembourg unemployment rate rises to Two year high, Croatia jobless rate rises to six percent, Swedish jobless rate rises more than expected, Hong Kong jobless rate over four year low, China jobless rate down to five point two percent, Singapore quarter two jobless rate confirmed at one point nine. So, these are the rates you want to find out around the world. Yeah, 
Well, let's look at Africa. So, is it the biggest? So these are South Africa, Niger, Burundi, yeah, so South Africa. These are high, are very low. I think this is the highest rate here, South Africa and uh, Namibia, 20.8. That's a lot. So this show the highest in the world. Here we are, 16. So that's 32.8. So South Africa is the highest. So Africa's unemployment rate came at 32.6 in the second quarter. So I think this is the highest in the world, if I'm not wrong. Definitely more right. So that is the highest. So these are more, you can look up at more of these. Uh, I was looking at that because I saw it was a high one here. Surprisingly, Niger is quite low, yet there was the fight for the uranium, but it looks like the problem low is quite low. So in Niger, the unemployment rate measures the number of people actively looking for a job as a percentage of the labor force. Oh, I see. Anyway, not to deflect from our pot. So this is, this is about unemployment rate around the world. In America, where I was showing you. So America, we have the Cayman Islands, the Cuba, or Cuba, Guatemala, Mexico, Nicaragua, Bolivia, Ecuador, United States, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, Belize, El Salvador, Dominican Republic, Canada as well, Puerto Rico, Argentina, Venezuela, Paraguay, Peru, Barbados, Brazil, Uruguay, Suriname, Honduras, Chile, or Chile, Panama, Colombia, Bahamas, Costa Rica, Guyana, and Haiti. So the lowest in the Americas. America is the, the south, no, the north, central, and America's all right. North, central, and south, and the West Indies as well. That's the Americas. Some say it's called the Atlantis. But we see here, that's the employment rate in the Americas. For those who are looking for jobs, as a rate, it's not too high. So look at it, wherever you are, you can check your rates and see if it applies to you. Uh, let's go over to Europe. So if in Europe, yes, in the UK now it is going down. The rate is going up uh, apparently it's 4.3. So the Faroe Islands, I think it's a small island. That's Liechtenstein, Switzerland. Switzerland uh, is two, Denmark, here yeah, Malta, Russia, Iceland, Norway, Belarus, Czech Republic, Netherlands, Moldova, Hungary, Ireland. So we here at we are at 4.3. We're right in the middle, you know. Yes, the UK has lost many jobs, and we are right in the middle before we weren't, but jobs have disappeared in the UK. Slovenia, Poland, Bulgaria, Slovakia, Luxembourg, Belgium, Romania, Germany. Now Germany, as you know, Germany is falling. There's a recession in Germany last of this this year. Germany has fallen completely down. So Germany is off the chart in terms of jobs. The German economy say it was going down and look what we have here the european union look this was the previous g7 but now the jobs are few in the european union and in germany as well so all these countries are beating the european union in terms of jobs structure look european union is right here at uh, i went another number as well croatia austria portugal euro area as well latvia cyprus finland France is at the bottom here. Look, these are the G7 countries. Italy. What is going on in the world? The European Union is dying. There are no jobs in the European Union. Look, France, Italy, right at the bottom. They were the G7 countries. So that shows you things have changed. Do not outshine your masters. North America, Macedonia, Bosnia, Herzegovina. But you see Italy here and uh, France and the European Union. The times have changed. And Germany as well. And of lovely England. So it shows you that the times have changed and the masters are going to change. There's going to be a new master in time. Over to Asia. The lowest in Asia is Qatar. Followed by Cambodia, Thailand, Singapore, Myanmar, Oman, Vietnam, South Korea, Kuwait, Laos, Macau, Japan, Kyrgyzstan, UAE, Hong Kong, North Korea, Israel, Malaysia. Taiwan, Bangladesh, Kazakhstan, Sri Lanka, Philippines, East Timor, Maldives, Nepal, Saudi Arabia, 
Turkmenistan. Then you have China here. China is way at the bottom. Imagine that. 5.2 for China. Indonesia, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Mongolia, Bhutan, Pakistan, Brunei, Tajikistan, India. India is an 8. I think in terms of population, maybe that's why. Not in terms of jobs. Syria, Uzbekistan, Iran, Lebanon, Afghanistan, Yemen, Armenia. How many is in Asia? I thought Armenia was in Europe. Oh. Iraq, Georgia is in Asia. I thought Georgia was in Europe. Or is in the border? Jordan, Palestine. So according to the tradeeconomics.com, Palestine is the has the highest unemployment rate in Asia. So these are some of the things. So it's all about being mindful. Be aware of your country and what jobs you have. This is mindfulness. Be aware of your jobs. Find of the masters. Be aware. Be aware. Be aware. So this is country Australia of course it's going to be Oceania so Australia we got Papua New Guinea New Zealand Australia start Fiji and New Caledonia I thought oh yeah yes that's sorry Oceania right that's correct so the G20 just Singapore Switzerland South Korea Japan Russia Mexico Netherlands Australia and the States and the Kingdom Saudi Arabia, China, Indonesia, Canada, Germany, Argentina, Euro area, France, Italy, Brazil, India, Turkey, Spain, South Africa. So always have a G20 and this are the... Oof, this is mindfulness at its best. Now, some things I'm lying today as well. So definitely check out, for those who want to learn more, check out the website. I will post the link in my description. All right, I'll check out the employment risk. So for those who are looking for jobs and uh, you want to look for somewhere to go, definitely check out this chart. It's going to help you. There's more. You can look for employment change, vacancies, and new areas. You look for markets here. Oh, okay, you got to subscribe for this. Okay, you can subscribe to get all that. But definitely, these are indicators for you to learn and understand. You look at your markets, your news, calendar, and much more. For those of you who are looking to go somewhere or find something new. So you gotta be mindful of where you're going, looking for jobs. Don't just go to a country because your friends tell you come. Times have changed and it's important that you know where you are moving on. So moving on from this, we talk about not outshine your master. Now, now we know a bit about our masters. Yes, I'm gonna give you a story about the master. I'm going to read from the book. That is from the 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Never outshine the master. So if you're in a job, if you are, you've got a master and sometimes you want to... The key is if you have a master, some of them will appreciate but some of them won't. So this might be... Decide face off. I'll say decide face off and see what, which works for you. Decide and see if it works for you, if it won't. For me, sometimes it didn't work, sometimes it worked. I was doing well, the master didn't like it, so I had to move some areas, I had to let some people go. I didn't have a master, but they were trying to be my master, and I was like, I just said, no, I don't want you to be my master, they didn't like it. I said, no, I'm gonna shine, because you're not my master. Don't try to be my master, I don't want you, don't want you to be my master. I resent. In some cases, it didn't work out, we needed help, I was helping them out, and they didn't like it, because yet you were benefiting. I was doing it to show off, but I was doing it just to Get people together and they didn't like it, so like, oh, what's the problem? So, you gotta be careful when you have a boss, an employee, a landlord, or a captain, and you're doing well. Sometimes they may not like it. I'm not saying you should stop, it's up to you to decide if I stop or not. But sometimes people just don't like it, and I try to, you know. I'm reading from the book here, you can see it there. So, don't say, um. Never shine the master. I'm not using a bunch of background, but you can read the book there. So it's a little power. I love this book. It keeps me going. So law number one, it says, never outshine your master. Also make those above you feel comfortably superior. So in your desire to please and impress them, do not go too far in displaying your talents, or you might accomplish the opposite. Inspire fear and insecurity. So by displaying, do not go too far in displaying, you might inspire fear and security 
There are times when I think you have to. If you want to, those sometimes you have to. I think sometimes you have to. But in most cases, just be aware. If you, if you don't have to, then don't. So make your masters appear more brilliant than they are, and you will attain the highest of power. So this is the power game. Those who want to play the power game. If you don't want to play it, it's not for you. But in power game, always make your masters appear more brilliant than they are, and you will attain the highest of power. So if you have a job, sometimes you've got powers who want to be. Sometimes you're going to play the game to make them feel like, oh, this guy, yes, oh, thank you, oh. No, ego bruise, you know, you know, my keys don't fall for it. I'm gonna fall for it. So, definitely, those are some of the things you're gonna fall for if you are in the power game. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna read more of the book and give an example that he gives of his book about never outshining the master. So, there are a couple of books, I'm gonna read just one. I'll read the first chapter Transgression of the Law. So Nicholas Fouquet, or Fouquet, I don't know if it was, sorry, it's French, Louis the XIV, finance minister, in the first years of his reign, was a generous man who loved lavish parties, pretty women, and poetry. He also loved money, for he led an extravagant lifestyle. So again, is it Fouquet? 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 Was clever and very much indispensable to the king. So when the prime minister Jules Mazarin died in 1661, the finance minister expected to be named the successor. Should I again? So Nicholas Fouquet, Louis the XIV's finance minister in the first years of his reign, was a generous man who loved lavish parties, pretty women and poetry. He also loved money for he led an extravagant lifestyle. So we got two players here. The king, Louis the XIV, and the finance minister, two of them, yeah. So Fouquet was clever and very much indispensable to the king. So he had the king and he had his finance minister who was clever and witty and fantastic. So when the prime minister Jules died, the finance minister expected to be named the successor. Instead, the king decided to abolish the position. So this and other signs made Foucault suspect that he was falling out of favor. And so he decided to ingratiate himself with the king by staging the most spectacular party the world had ever seen. Oh. I smell a big mistake coming here. But if party's ostensible purpose would be to commemorate the completion of Farquhar's chateau, Vox le Vicoté, Vim Vicomté, sorry, I'm not, I don't speak French, I know little, but its real function was to pay tribute to the king, the guest of honor. Oh, bad idea, big time. The most brilliant nobility of Europe and some of the greatest minds of the time, La Fontaine, La Rouge Facode, Madame de Chavin, attended the party. Moa, Molia, wrote a play for the occasion in which he himself was to perform at the evening's conclusion. But the party began with a lavish seven course dinner, featuring foods from the Orient never before tested in France, as well as new dishes created especially for the night. The bill was accompanied with music commissioned by Foucault, sorry, Foucault, Foucault to honor the king. After dinner, there was a promenade through the Chateau's gardens. The grounds and font fountains of Volle Vincomte were to be the inspiration for the sales. Farquhar personally accomplished the young king through the geometrically aligned arrangements of shrubbery and flower beds. Arriving at the gardens canals, they witnessed a fireworks display, <laughs> which was followed by the performance of Malheur's play. The party ran well into the night and everyone agreed it was the most amazing affair they had ever attended. So the guests were happy. So the next day, <clears throat> Farquhar, if I'm right, was arrested by the king's head musketeer, the Artagan. Three months later, he went on trial for stealing from the country's treasury. In brackets, actually most of the stealing was, he was accused of he had done on the king's behalf and with the king's permission. Oh my goodness me. Foucault was found guilty and sent to the most isolated prison in France, high in the Pyrenees Mountains, where he spent the last 20 years of his life in solitary confinement. Oh my goodness me. Picture the scene. The guy said, I'm going to throw him a great party. The king kept quiet, didn't send him at all. He came, enjoy the party. That's it. Beautiful, all nice. Everyone said that was fantastic. The next day after the party, it's F-O-U-Q-U-E-T. So I don't speak French. You know what? I'm going to try to get... 
F O U Q U T. What does that mean? How would you pronounce it in French? That was a gentleman's foie quoit. Foie quoit? How, I don't know how to pronounce it. Foie quoit. So this is the guy who was... So I'm going to play how to pronounce foie quoit, if you guys don't mind. So that's the guy who was preparing for the king. Yes. So if you can hear the pronunciation, let me know. How to pronounce the word? Pronouncenames.com. Fouke. Oh, Fouke. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Fouke. Fouke. Bravo. Did you hear that? Fouke. 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 So, Fouke. You. So, Fouke. We got Fouke, who is the finance minister of Louis the Fourteenth. So, he says, right, I'm losing favor. I'm going to. I'll shine the master here like huh, I'm gonna throw a lavid party. He's gonna do it was in good faith, I suppose. But I get I would say not. It was good faith, but I think it was a bit of greed because he wanted power. Why do that? Because he wanted that position, so he wanted to show that he, he's all of it, but I think it was greed, not good faith. So after the party went well and nice until the midnight, fantastic people had fun, they enjoyed, they ate. So the guests I'm sure enjoyed like wow Fouquet, you outdid this. Merci, merci beaucoup, Fouquet. I don't know here, but you, I'm gonna the French. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Merci, Bouquet. Bouquet, Fouquet. So the next day, Fouquet was arrested by the king's head musketeer. Three months later, he was sent on, he was went to written trial for stealing from the country's treasury, which, like you, was accused of he had done on the king's behalf and the king's permission. The tables turned on him. The same man who gave permission still now he said you still oh my goodness me that is the worst thing ever so you gotta be careful when you outshine your master especially those with great power never if you're in servitude to the king or to master don't outshine no matter how clever you are the other masters who are okay cannot have much power over you definitely but those who have great power over you can put you away never outshine the kings or the guys of immense power because when they destroy you they will destroy you well, this man was destroyed Fouke was arrested by the king's head musketeer. Three months later on, he was on trial. He went on trial for stealing from the country's treasury. Actually, most of the stealing he was accused of, he had done on the king's behalf and with the king's permission. Why? The king had the power and he was trying to outshine him. Fouke was found guilty and sent to the most isolated prison in France, high in the Pyrenees Mountains. Where he spent the last 20 years of his life in solitary confinement. The king said, Right, this guy's too smart, he's too good. He might take my job. Like, yeah, so he had to go. <laughs> smart king? I kind of agree with the king because he was showing off. That means people are going to be divided. Like, oh, this is what I can do, but why is it a king? It is true because that would bring division to the king who was one in power. So, by you showing you got power, I mean, if he's honest, people will think, Oh, this guy is great, he's power, they'll get, they'll move off the king to him yet he's the king so the king has to be in charge he has to be in control but this man wants to be controlled that's the king's position so yes i disagree with that man with Fouquet. you are not the king so don't outshine the king let the king be the king let the employee be the employer and so the man said the king was like hmm he came enjoyed the party like if this continue if this carries on this man people will fall for him my bet they will next they will overthrow me and yes he had to be smart and say you know what goodbye so more of the story, just an interpretation of the story. Louis the Fourth, the Fourteenth, sorry, the Sun King was a proud and arrogant man, wanted to be the center of attention at all times. The master was proud and arrogant and wanted to be the center of attention at all times. So this is the part Fouquet missed out. This man wanted to be the party. He wanted to be all the times, not anywhere, not once, all the time. So if he knew this, he would have never done it that way. Oh, that's what I put him here. I've made him in his own palace, not in his own chateau. That's taking attention off the king. So you must know what your master likes, what doesn't like. He's proud and arrogant and wants to be the center of attention at all the times. They won't accept anything else less than that. Yes? So he could not countenance being outdone in lavishness by anyone, as I thought. And certainly not his finance minister. So he cannot 
he cannot can't, he can't even think about it, he can't apprehend that someone is going to be outshining. Even if they're smarter, there's like no chance. Especially his finance minister, the one who do you want to upgrade. So to succeed Fouquet, Louis chose Jean Baptiste Colbert, a man famous for his parsimony and for giving the Dallas parties in Paris. Colbert made sure that any money liberated from the treasury went straight into Louis Louis's hands. The Louis's hands. With the money, Louis built a palace even more magnificent than Fouquet's, the glorious palace of Versailles. <laughs> So now you chose somebody who is not too smart. He's like, okay, choose a dull one. I'm like, okay, this guy won't really give me trouble. I'll pick a dull one. So now I know why people, people, people in power are not very smart because they, they have no, they're, they're not a threat to the people above. Makes sense. If you're a smart guy, if you have challenge, then you're afraid. Chances are you don't, you don't have a good life in this life here. Those who are not smart, those who don't have, are the ones who are being given a lot of money, deals. If, if you realize that, it's true. The world has changed. Those who are good, smart, are the ones at the bottom. Those who are not smart or foolish are the ones who have been given contracts, given money, because they know they are no threat to them. It is true. I accept. I have been serious. I'm a threat. People didn't like me because they said, oh, I'm a threat because I'm probably, I didn't, I didn't want to be considered a fool. So it happened to me as well once. I I think I outshined the, the one to be masters and they kicked me out. I was like, I went. I didn't care. So I'm, I'm, I'm one of the victims of the Picked up by the masters by Harrymon. So the king picked up a man who was dull in his parties. So Colbert made sure that any money liberated from the treasury went straight into the king's hands. With the money, Louis built a palace even more magnificent than Fouquet's glorious parts of Vassel. He's the same architects, decorators, and garden designer. And at Vassel's Louis was at parties even more extravagant than the one that cost Fouquet his freedom. Necessary, maybe not, but in power it's necessary because now you got, you got to show that you're a king. You got to show that you know people are saying people watching like, oh, he's a king. What's he gonna do next? So I think so. I think it was me about most about pleasing people here, so keeping the power to yourself, isn't it? My opinion. But anyway, it carries on. So let us examine the situation. The evening of the party, as Fouquet presented spectacle on spectacle to Louise, to Louis, each more magnificent than the one before he imagines the affair as, demonstra as demonstrating his loyalty and devotion to the king so he imagines in his mind that this was demonstrating that he's loyal and he's devoted to that to the king not only did he think the party would put him back in the king's favor he thought it would show his good taste his connections and his popularity making him indispensable to the king and demonstrating that he would make an excellent prime minister instead however each new spectacle each appreciative smile bestowed by the guests on Fouquet made it seem to Louis that his own friends and subjects were more charmed by the finance, by the finance minister than by the king himself. That's what I thought, and that Fouquet was actually flaunting his wealth and power. That's what I thought. Rather than flattering Louis, the fourteenth Fouquet's elaborate party offended the king's vanity. Sometimes your loyalty offends your master's vanity. Louis would not admit this to anyone, of course. Instead, he found a convenient excuse to rid himself of a man who had inadvertently made him feel insecure. Oh my goodness me. Such is the fate in some form of other of all those who unbalance the master's sense of self, poke holes in his vanity, or make him doubt his preeminence. So in summary, when the evening began, Fouquet was at the top of the world. By the time it ended, he was at the bottom. Uh, in one evening to win his whole career. What a story. Never a trying to master. Now, from my opinion, this is what happens. Those who are insecure. If your master is a secure person, I've met a lot many of those. They want to be my friends, they want to be associate, but when they get offended by me doing a live video or by me giving them talking about some something they don't like. Security is a big thing in a master. If your master is insecure, or your friend, or your wife, or your partner, or your parents, if they're insecure, I'm talking experience here. I had that insecurity in, in family and people want to be your partner, or those who want to be the master, you know what I mean? And so we were clashing due to that. So, so I said, I'll go. 
I'll let you, I'll leave you be. Let me go. So you, let me just go. Simple as that. Ah, that's my experience. I said, let me go. I said, I had enough. I said, forget it. I'm not trying to outshine you. I'm just being myself, but you feel your I'm talking frozen to you, then I'll leave. So I volunteered to said I will go. I'm just living, I'm having a job like everyone else does. Well, that's the problem. Oh no, you know this, you know that, you make me look bad. I'm not. You have a job, I've got a job. Oh no. Insecurity, my friend. Insecurity, insecurity. It's not about you, it's about them. People want to be everything about them. It's you, it's you. Be careful that is your master, or that is your wife, or your husband, or your parents. Those are the ones who are very close to you. Your friends you can ditch you any time. But your partner, your your employer or your parent is different because they are very close to you and they have a lot of influence over you. Yes, so if it's your partner, your parent or your employer, those are the worst to have as insecure people. So such is the fate in some form or other of all those who unbalance the master's sense of self, poke holes in his vanity or make him doubt his preeminence. Once you make your master doubt whether it's your employer or that they'll try to make life hard for you, try to get rid of you, time, 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 will, time, time will kill others. It's the many examples in history. Somebody's doing something out of some you're doing something good to make them feel happy to come together and yet they take it the wrong way or they think, oh, it makes them look bad. So they to get rid of you or they divorce you or they steal or some put people's murders. Plenty of examples. I my example I'm using my example in this one. I was helping out people called family or friends like oh I didn't know. I was getting together, let's do business, let's create this, but now I see it in here. I was poking holes in their vanity. I said, so now I understand why we had that fight with family and some people. In their sense, I was poking holes. In my sense, I was trying to help the family. Let's get together. Let's overcome this poverty. Let's work. Let's get a business. Let's start this, start that. But they were, oh, it's a thing what I couldn't do. So they're like, oh, let's hate him more. Like, oh, I tried for a while. That's why I said goodbye. I said to friends and family, get lost. Not even goodbye. Get lost. Don't call me again. Block out. Because why? If you're in the vicinity, they, they will try to they try to destroy me. They will try to destroy you. Literally, someone who is insecure and you feel make it look bad, they'll go behind your back and they'll try to destroy you. They'll give you hatred from far. They might smile in your, they might smile with you, but deep inside they're waiting for your failure, for your death. So when the evening began, Fouke was at the top. At the end, he was at the bottom. He was trying to prove his loyalty and his devotion to the king. Like this is for you, my king, but. I think he did it in the wrong way. He didn't know that the man wanted to be sent a vacation at all times. So if he had included him in the in the parties, in the everything, maybe he could have got away with it. He wasn't smart enough to think that way. If I make him look big, include him, the king, in that. Ask him before, sir. Ask him for making make everyone see that he's the one who organized it. That would have been different. So that's what I think. If I said it's the king who organized it, not him doing it behind a surprise, king. That's a mistake people make. They do surprise, don't let them know. But by putting them in charge, I think the king would have let, would have let it go. Like, oh, yes, it's me. And then he'd have congratulations. But he didn't. So the king felt, oh, the insecure man, not the king. The insecure king. I won't say the king. The king should not be secure. But his insecurity got the best of them. So that man would have been great for him. So for me, in my sense, the man would have been a great asset. Because why? His devotion, his loyal, his everything. He's smart, intelligent. Yes, he can be a threat, but... He's necessary. So he was a great man, but he got rid of him because it was his own false sense of security is what made him go. It was something else. If he was a threat whereby he took the power, it's different. If his friends liked him, yes, it's okay. I mean if somebody if you're not if you're secure, you wouldn't mind people liking your friend. Even if you give him his palm to shine, he's a shining, let him shine. You're a king, but he's also he's also working on your behalf, so he has to shine. People might like him, more than you sometimes. Give him attention, that's fine, it's okay. It's not insecure, it's, it's celebrating people's achievements. He's still king, but others have those achievements, so he should have fought like that as a, as, a, as, a, as a secure king. Because he was a king. That should give you a lot of security. He should have fought, wait, wait, I'm king. Let his man shine, but at the end of the day, I'm still king. Gosh, he shouldn't let the small things offend me. He let the small insecurities offend him. So the master made a mistake in this, from my opinion, made a mistake. But the man was brilliant. I wasn't doing it to take power from him. I wasn't doing it to, to flaunt all to 
be the king is one of the position of prime minister but the king thought oh no 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 this is too much the security came out so that was a, for me that's what i see he made a big mistake there both of them did but i, I here i've been the king because he was the king and he was running control so the king i think the king had more fortune in this case yet the man was wrong because he should have put the king if we're doing for the king should have included him in the beginning if it was for the king then it definitely should include the king i think so but if the king as well should have said should have pardoned him she was wise okay i'm sure they did pardon him maybe I talk to him a bit say i don't like it if you want to let me know maybe i'll talk to him a bit as a king but the king had the authority here so i'm guessing that he i would say maybe the king would have done, done something different they're trying to look and see where it's coming from why he's doing it if it was to show his devotion and loyalty then that's great maybe did in the wrong way but sometimes it happens we all get sometimes sometimes we, we slowly think oh, this is actually trying to outshine me but the point is here it's a story about don't outshine the master <laughs> i did a few times i got punished for it but i'm happy but it set me free now i don't need to outshine anybody i'm doing it on my own so don't come and uh, complain i did before unknowingly i was being loyal to the family devotion to the family but they said oh no no it's too much josh why but you're the you're the heads i'm not the head you're the, f the leaders nothing to do with me i'm just adding to the family to the tribe they said no 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 no. you are shunning me insecurity da, 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 so i left and now they got angry now i say oh yeah, i miss you like i don't miss you guys at all friends want to be friends but they complain that you're doing this business like why are you my friend then if your friends are complaining about your successes you're not, you're not your friends don't make your friends your masters goodness me oh do not never make your friends your masters or your acquaintances your work well, people don't make it never making your partners your masters never make your people who don't understand master your master those who want to be half power of you don't but never make that mistake your friends your acquaintances your associates should not be your masters they are to some level or below the power game don't put them up put them they keep them the same it's not be the same keep them below you why they'll try to be a master why having a business is he a master people ask you why are you doing this are you my master are you the one who am i subject to you i'm not subject to you without having to answer you yes be careful who wants to be your master that's a great way don't make your friends your girlfriends your boyfriends your masters they're your girlfriends they're your friends who are girls your friends who are boys they're not they're not above you don't put them here where everything you say you must do they must, you must run you work together if they don't work together put them below you they'll hate it but that's where they belong people who don't deserve to be above shouldn't be above you at all if your employer if your landlord if your friend is trying to destroy you and you have nothing wrong don't don't move away don't give that move change change jobs change landers change uh, whatever but don't let the wrong people your master your master is great that's fine and the key is don't my advice to you is don't let your friends or your associates or your workmates be your masters i mean be in control of you are telling you what are you doing with your business what why aren't you coming to our parties that's a that is master behavior telling you what you should be doing what you shouldn't be doing what are you doing what are you eating this if it's a friend they're eh, jewish mate they're telling you off that's different but if i was complaining about something what you should be complaining about if it's a friend i'm looking after my good needs that's a friend but full jealousy and security get rid of those i'll say be careful handle them or say no because they will become the king and go behind you and try and destroy you so number one rule don't give people a chance to master if they're not your masters only have one master in life only have one master and that should be the one the universe the one up, up north or down south wherever it is that's the god should be the universe it should be life the giver should be your ma real master the others here are sub masters if you're gonna die die if you leave leave can be homeless be homeless don't give away your mastership to anybody it doesn't be, it doesn't have to be a master you have one true master who gives you life force the rest are just people who walk you they're those they have been given power yes they have master over you but don't give your mastership to the wrong person your friends girlfriends boyfriends associates or one colleagues are not your masters don't give them that chance you should know their place i saw it once someone was trying to my master saying no 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 no, you're not my master mate you are friends you want to be your kind of, that's it that is it that is it are we clear that is it if you're not you can you can walk out right now i said no 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 i said no 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 and if it's a girlfriend i think i like you I just said, no 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 uh, if you're my girlfriend you are but you're not my master the difference 
a girlfriend is be on the same level. If you want to be up above, then you go somewhere else. You're looking for insecurity, go find someone else who wants, who wants to be babied, who wants to be under somebody, not me. I'm not a subject to you. No, but I love Josh. No, person, no, 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 no. Don't care. Uh, it's not about love. It's not about. It's not about love. You're not my master. End of story. You want to be controlled. I know it's a game people play. I want to master you because I can push you down and feel powerful. So your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your associates, your colleagues are not your masters. Don't give them a chance. This is the power game. If you're playing the power game, don't make your friends. Oh, the masters. Oh. Oh, do for me, do it for me. What am I doing? How am I feeling? They are not your masters. Those are in the power game. If you're not, fair enough. But for those in the power game, I play the power game a lot because I know. If you lose control, you're somebody's slave, somebody's servant. If you lose your control, then someone else will try to control you. And then you have to be subject to the terms and conditions. Which, in most cases, won't benefit you. So be careful. So the king was insecure. The man was trying to be loyal and devoted, but in the end, he went the wrong way of doing it. And so it cost him far away yet you've been doing well so who's to blame i don't know but the key is the lesson to learn is be careful which master if you don't understand your master yes be careful to outshine the master happened to me many times sometimes it's a blessing for me it was a blessing i don't want to give people around but sometimes it's not a blessing times you might go down the wrong way and it might affect you like full case was gone for solitude unless you escape solitude Maybe if you didn't escape, then that's him gone. What do you do? Just try to show loyalty and devotion. But he went extravagant in the, in the wrong way to a man. He had a good intention, but the wrong method of doing it. And so it cost him his, his life, his, his position. If I said where he was, it was still a great position, but he wanted more. I would say also a bit of greed was in there. So if he was happy what he wanted, he wanted more, he asked politely. They said, no, that's fine, it's the way you are. But now he was here, he went to go up, he did something, now he's even gone lower than before. Even those who are <coughs> servants at the below were still free. Those who were pawns, those who were working in the goddess, they had this freedom, but he didn't. He went to go higher to the king, so the, when you attack the king and people in power, you go back down to the bottom. So be careful if you're, if you're next to the top. Be careful if you're next to the top. If you're next to the top, the, the consequences are higher. If you're at the bottom, how much you lose, but if you're at the top and you lose, normally they take you down below everybody else. Sometimes it's jail, sometimes it's death, sometimes everything. So when you're dealing with people of power, they can destroy you easily and they can destroy you completely. So if you're in the power game, know that. Playing people of power, be careful who you offend, be careful who you outshine, because one wrong move can send you packing back to nursery school again. The power game. Never outshine your master. I made a mistake once and I learned, oh, keep down. For example, again, I was planning to play table tennis. I, I began playing after a while, I became good. I was living somewhere, somebody who was uh, working in the office of the, of the, where I was playing. So I was playing the guy from the office who was handling the organization. So I was learning, so, but he was a player, but I was a beginner. So as I began, I, I practiced more and I got the hang of it. So one day I worked, in, I worked in good and I, he was smashing and I, I was able to defend myself and he was like, oh, he didn't like it. Like, what? He got angry. Like, oh, I made a mistake. Like, oh, I think I shined him. I go, that's not good because he works in the office. He could go behind with my files. Like, oh, Josh, oh, that's not good. So I learned next time. When he's playing, I make sure I lose or I did some funny mistakes so he could win. I thought he could feel better. Because even if I won, there was nothing to gain by me winning the game. So, so I realized, yeah, it's true. I was getting better at my defense but if I used it I'd have won what to accomplish nothing but yet in the office next time he resent me if I need help from him in the office he would have helped me so I learned I ha huh. so I'm playing my bosses when I play them I make sure I win one then he wins like five or six time to look down Josh you're crap or Josh you're rubbish I like yeah right. so this time I played down I kept cool I kept my cool I learned wisdom my master was there, um, I don't know much, I'm like, I don't know anything at all, like, yeah, yeah I don't know, help, ask, uh, ask silly questions, uh, I don't know what to do, I'm like, oh, this guy is stupid, of course, you don't know that, so they come do it for you, like, oh, this guy, so they feel smarter, like, oh, I learned the game, the power game, if you got a boss, never ask any master, so that was good for me, but definitely those who learned that, so this is a good story, because this is a powerful man, if in the power zone, 
they can kick you out. If you're not playing a power game, it's easy. That way you don't have much to lose. But if you're in a power game, you have a lot more to lose when you make a wrong decision or a wrong turn. The, the man was sent from his, he was a finance minister. He lost his position and went to, to jail in a... Uh, skip away. An isolated prison for 20 years. From being a finance minister, because he missed the power game, he went, he was kicked out for 20 years, the last 10 years of his life. So apparently he died in there. Isolated from a finance minister to a jail cell. From heaven to hell. By playing the wrong move in the power game. But if you're not playing the power game, you can have a lot of options there. You can make mistakes and get away. But if you're in the big yeah, prime minister, kingship, if you're in governor state, and you often run past them, they can take you out there and then. So you gotta be careful in the power game. It's not for all. You gotta be careful, learn how to learn how to please sometimes, learn how to smile, learn how to keep quiet, learn how to talk, learn how to lose, learn how to play the fool. Because in a power game, one thing, you're out, you're out. And if you have a lot, you have a lot more to lose. Amen. Hallelujah. That is a power game. That is a great book. I love it because we play the power game because power is the place to make change, to control. You lose your power, sometimes you change you make are not very, well, I wouldn't say, oh, they're not the best to be honest, but I say keep your power, learn how to not lose your power. Yes, so that is the power game. Welcome to the show tonight, yeah? The show is about never outshine your master. I'm gonna show you who your master is, yeah? For those who just joined us live, your master is a man who has people working for him, especially servants or slaves in his story. But nowadays, a master is your employer. Your employer is your master. Your landlord is your master. Your manager is your master. Your... That's it, to be honest. Yeah, that's all. The rest are not really... Lord of a lord, they're quite... Kind of out of use. Let's have a monarch as well. But if you're working close to the monarch, that's different. If you're down at the bottom or the ceiling end, they, have, they don't know you that well. But if you're in the circle or the influence of the big boys and the big girls, you're going to think twice. If you're next to the king, next to the monarch, next to the prime minister, next to the governor, next to the president, and you play silly games, and you don't like it, you're out. And sometimes you might lose your job, and you might, you might make sure that, you know, they've got the power to destroy you. They can make sure they make up a false story about you, put in newspapers, tell everybody that this guy was wrong, and they can destroy you like that. Because they've got the power to. No matter how good or how good you are. So the power game is not for all, but if you're in the power game, know who your masters are. And never outshine your master. Unless you have to. There are times when you have to break the rule. There are times when you must outshine your master. Because it will get you somewhere good. There are times where it will get your life. It will take away your life. It will lose your life. But you got to decide for yourself. you got to use wisdom for that. But these are other terms which people use for master. So learn... Them. Nowadays, people use the term employer. So people think, oh, those days of gone. No, just new language, new sugar coating, and it looks sweeter. The same game is being played. Power is still the same from the times of the lords, the overlords. They're still there, but now they call themselves managers, directors, uh, uh, employers. That's the main one, definitely. Yes, so master is someone who has who are showing very great skill or proficiency. That could be the king, that could be our other overlords. Nowadays, masters, employers don't really have much skill nowadays. Not, nowadays, masters, the employers don't really have much. Some just inherited or just began a business because they could, but they have no skill or they have no proficiency or they have no ethics with people. That's my point. Today's masters don't have much ethics or skills of 100 people. Just the first house inherited or began a business they got others to employ, they don't care about your health, your welfare, your pension, or your working hours, and just give you a job. So be careful nowadays, because today your masters are not very efficient or proficient. A master is someone who gets control of, or overcomes. So someone gets control of you, they are your master. To get control of something is to master it. So if I can get control of your mind, I'll become your master. If I get control of your position, sometimes I can, not really much, but maybe, but can you master? It's most about the mind and your life and your time. If I can gain your time and your energy, 
and become your master. And your thoughts will have got you. Yes. The power game is about getting control of somebody, of something, of someone's thoughts and minds. That is the power game. So be careful who your master is. Because if you are shining them, they might say it right. Goodbye. My friend. So think about it and think about it on a great tone. So moving on from that, I'm going to show you today another great note. Today is Monday the 25th of uh, September. Sorry for looking at look again. So I'm going to show you what happened in history. So I'm going to give examples of what happened today in history. Yes, so on look back in history. Some might be correct, some might be correct. Don't quote me, I'm just reading the records given. Some I know some are altered, some I know that some history written by the victors. True. I'm just reading the, the records, so taking account some might be altered, some might be wrong, some might be biased. But it's just for inspiration and to learn from, yeah? Disclaimer, this is for you to learn, inspire, not, I'm not taking as I'm not saying accuracy or historical facts, I'm just putting them as a learning lesson. History was altered by the victors or by some others, but I'm gonna view this as just as a as a, as a learning, as a lesson for you to learn. Alright. I will clear my disclaimer. Brilliant. So here I'm reading from uh, this website talking about the events in history. So if you look for inspiration, definitely check them out and uh, be inspired. True or false? The key is look at the story. Yeah, whether it's true or whether it's false. Look at the story and uh, learn from it, and do the same for yourself. Oh, I'm a lovelies. So 1066. The Battle of Stamford Bridge, English army under King Harold II defeat invading Norwegians led by King Harold Hardrada and Harold's brother Tostig, who were both killed. On this day, 1066, that's over 1,000 years ago. Not yet. Almost 1,000 years ago. That's around 43, 157 years ago. If it's correct, no history. I'm just using the terms, but you know what I mean. 1237, Treaty of York signed between Kings Henry III of England and Alexander II of, Scotland, II of Scotland, which establishes a boundary between the two countries. Most of changed in modern times. Oh! The Treaty of York was signed between King Henry III of England and Alexander II of Scotland. 1513, Spanish explorer Vasco Nunes de Balboa crosses the Panama Isthmus becoming the first European to see the Pacific Ocean. Really? In 1789, the US Congress proposes the Bill of Rights. 1906, Leonardo Torres Quevedo successfully demonstrates the Telekino at Bilbao before a great crowd, guiding a boat from the shore, considered the bath of the remote control. 1926, Henry Ford announces an eight hour, five day work week for workers at the Ford Motor Company. 1981, Sandra Day O'Connor sworn in as the first female US Supreme Court Justice. So these are some of the events for those who want to learn about history. Take them as a all interested. So I'm not saying, don't quote me. It could be altered, it could be different, but just, just learn from it and inspire yourself to do the same. It was a bit, the events, I won't mention all of them, they are quite a lot of them. Um, today in the film on TV, can learn more music, Pink Floyd's album, today in sport, Canada Fit USA, and much more. You know that Andorra and Germany signed a treaty ending World War I as Versailles Peace Treaty forgot to include Andorra. Oh, but today in 1939, Andorra and Germany signed a treaty ending World War One. I. I didn't know that. Something you have learned. Today's famous birthdays. Henry Pelham, Fletcher Christian, William Faulkner, Dmitry Shostakovich, Ethel Rosenberg, Robert Muldoon, and much more. Celebrity birthday. Today's Barbara Walter's birthday. Christopher Reeve's birthday. Today's Michael Douglas' birthday. Oh! Today is Mark Hamill's birthday. Today is Will Smith's birthday. And today is Catherine Zeta Jones' birthday. Oh, so look at that celebrity birthday. So, uh, Barbara Walters, Christopher Reeves, Michael Douglas, Mark, I don't have Mark Hamill, Mark Will Smith, and Catherine Zeta Jones. 
Today is their birthday. Oh, she died. Sorry, she the lake butter water. Sorry, she did die. And Crystal Reeves. Oh yes, they did. They died. Wasn't four. So Michael Douglas, Mark Hamill, Will Smith, and Captain Zeta Jones. Today is all their is their birthdays. So happy birthday to Will Smith, Captain Zeta Jones, Mark Hamill, and Michael Douglas. If you listen to the podcast, happy birthday to you guys. A birthday to you, fantastic. So in this day, yeah. Would you believe that British physician Dr. Clark, Dr. Charles Drysdale warns against the use of tobacco in a letter to the Times newspaper in one of the earliest public health announcements on the dangers of smoking, 1878? I didn't know, now I know. There's the famous weddings and much more. Famous deaths, Clement the Seventh died today. Coco the Clown, John Bonham, Brian Stowe, Andy Williams, Arnold Palmer, Billy Levin. Recent deaths today, Fernando Botero, Jimmy Buffett, Paul Baco, Yevgeny, pretty good, well, recent deaths, okay, not today. So there's a bit of the events, I just wanted to show you. So I'll be inspired by that, so you can find something to do and uh, get inspired. What I didn't know was the birthdays, so I birthday to Michael Douglas, Mark Hamill, Will Smith, and Catherine Zeta-Jones, all in the, about the 50s. Good times have flown, isn't it? I remember when they were younger. Well, time has really gone by. When they're prime, when they're doing the films, remember them when they're actors in the early nineties. Imagine that. Now they're in the fifties. Wow. The birthday to you guys. So definitely, you can look up some more events on there for those who want to learn more. But uh, feel free to enjoy. And yeah, so that's a bit about today's events, and I hope you can get inspired by that. Isn't it? It is a fantastic time to enjoy. And uh, yeah, you must enjoy it. And uh, have fun. Let me see if I've got any comments to answer before we finish off. Definitely not at all. All right. Pleasure. So I'll post the links below for those who want to look at the um, goals. <coughs> Definitely to carry on. But yeah, so. In a sense, so you learn about today, learn about history is good, learn about the events, what happens, so it's going to have an in-depth knowledge of what happens today and before. Learn your masters, the ones before and the ones who are on right now. Because I'm friend, your masters also are people, but they have the power to destroy you, to put you where you don't belong. That's what I'm saying, be careful who your master is, because they have the power to destroy you. They have the power to put you down, put you up, raise you up, kick you here, put you there, wherever they want you to be. So I know it's that sound very positive, but learn who your masters are, so you don't get you don't, you don't end up situation. Sometimes it's a good thing. I won't lie to you. Sometimes it's a good thing because you actually are relieved of that duty. So you decide what it is that which you want. But remember, your master is someone who controls you, and nowadays it's the employers who are the main masters because people most people have jobs and managers majority of them yes majority are the people who have jobs and they have uh, managers so on this end of note I'm going to end with some positive quotes yes so I don't want to be going out very scared of God so I'm going to end this on a positive tone I'm going to show you some I'm going to read some positive quotes for you so yeah, so for those who don't get a bad tone about masters, so I'm going to end with a positive tone about masters. So master is one who gives his soul, his life to save his soul. Master your fears before they master you. So in summary, let end, let's end on a positive tone. Master your fears before they master you. Yes, master your fears before they master you. I repeat that. Master your fears before they master you. A master is one who gives his life to save his soul. Alright? You cannot control what happens to you, but you can control your attitude towards that, what happens to you. And in fact, you'll be mastering your change. So, end it on a positive tone for masters. I'll show you the quotes so you can read them for yourself. 
so we can go back go away with a great feeling like yes i left with a positive uh thought on masters i'm reading from wordpress.com so a slave is one who sells his soul to save his life a master is one who gives his life you no know, to save his soul i repeat actually this is perfect matrona gliwayo a slave is one who sells his soul to save his life. I repeat, a slave is one who sells his soul to save his life. A master is one who gives his life to save his soul. Which one are you? Are you a master or are you a slave? A slave is one who sells his soul to save his life. A master is one who gives his life to save his soul. A great quote by Makshona Liwayo. Again, Sam Orfa. Master your fears before they master you. So the key is you want to master your fears before they master. An example is that man, Fouquet, must feared not having a position. So he feared it. So that call that fear led him to throw a party which ended his life, his career. He feared not having a position. He had a good position. Minister of Finance, he was puffed by wanted more. So he feared not having more than he what expected. I mean, the king also feared this man was going to be outshining him. So they both feared. The fear them to make wrong decisions both the king louis and fouquet one of them was fear the man feared not having that position the king feared that this man is going to be greater than him so he put a hole in his security feared because it's sh it shown his insecurities he didn't have a now he had to go outshine the guy because of his fear so he spent more money more energy more time just getting a lavish party why because of fear not because he wanted to just wanted to show that he was king but he, didn't, he, was, he was out of control. That's another idea. The king lost control because now he went to throw a party. Not because he wanted to. That means he was walking out of his own uh, up his own flow state. Doing things to please others is when you lose control. So he's, the king sold his soul to save his dignity as a king. So he became a soul, he became a slave at that time. Yet he was a full king. So the king said, I'm going to create a party, get lavish things where people can love me. That is selling your soul to save your insecurity. So the king Louis did. So in that moment, he took off his kingship and he became he became a, a slave because he gave in to his greed, to his pleasing others. That's what slaves do. Servants, they give up, sell their souls to save their life, their dignity, their reputation. They save, they sell, take it, I don't care. So be careful who you sell your soul to. I put be careful who you sell your soul to, your employer, your manager, your friend, your your partner, your parents, to save your life. Be careful, yeah? So the kids master your fears before they master you. If you master your fear, then you won't sell your soul. Master your fears. Here we go. Rising amateurs, amateurs always intimidate falling masters. That is true. Rising on will always intimidate. People are falling. If, if you're falling, master, you had the time and you're going down, those who are coming up will intimidate you because why? They're going to take over you. Which is a natural order of process, so definitely. Okay, but on a positive tone. So if you're playing the game without wounds, you are not playing the game. You're watching the game. If you're not, if you're playing the game with, with wounds, you are not playing the game. You're mastering the game. Oh. P.S. Jagadish Kumar, beautiful. So if you're playing the game without wounds, you are not playing the game. You're watching the game. If you are not, if you are playing the game without wounds, with wounds, sorry, you are not playing the game. You are mastering the game. Fantastic quote. So playing the game has wounds. Life has wounds. Everything has something. You gotta feel it. If you don't stay on the side, be part watching. That's fine. Watch the game. But if you're watching the game, there are wounds. You know, lick your wounds and get it back in there. Perfect. Thank you. So when you master the past, you are a scholar. When you master the present, you are a saint. When you master the future, you are a sage. Same guy must show now. The while. Beautiful. When you master the past, you are a scholar. When you master the present, you are a saint. When you master the future, you are a sage. Another one. Free yourself just as a slave seek for full freedom from his or master. Great chefs always have to wait for hours. They adopt to all circumstances. So to end, I'm going to add on this one. Find a master within inside you and don't be surprised if it's you. Yes? So find a master inside you inside and don't be surprised if it's you. To end on a positive tone. Find a master inside and don't be surprised if it's you. 
So if you're the master, then definitely outshine yourself. If you're not, think twice. So there are times when you should outshine the master, and that's when it is you. So find the master inside you, and don't be surprised if it's you. Right here, by Syed Sharuk. Beat from the end on, right here. Find the master inside, and don't be surprised if it's you. So my friend, you are the, the master is you. Don't give a part, don't sell your soul to others. Your master, you are the master. Be the master. Be control of your fears, your emotions, your actions. Be the master, and then outshine yourself by doing better on yesterday. That's when you're shining the master. If you're the master, outshine yourself. If you're not, then chances are you might be punished. But please, find the master inside, and don't be surprised if it's you, because definitely it is you. So on my positive tone, huh? we do a quick shout out to all our fans who have been uh, watching us. So our goal, ladies and gentlemen, is to reach 50,000, and we are not far. I'm on 49,000. Oh, I've got 400 left. Yes, come on. We can do this. I was hoping by Friday next week, but I didn't get it. So by tomorrow, unless we should get to 50,000 50, followers. At the end, we say a shout out to all, to everyone who has liked us. Thank you for liking us, following, commenting. So our goal is to reach 50,000. I mean, 49,578. So we have a little more to go and in a little while we're getting there let us sing a song that will cheer us by the way in a little while we're gonna get fifty thousand. let us go for it we are almost there thank you to all who've been posting and commenting so thank you to all the followers i appreciate oh fantastic any alerts anyone so shout out all those who just just right now emmanuel Chap King Good, hey, Chamge, Chamge. You are must Chamge, Mister. You are what? Oh, none, no. What's a tribe? Oh, I've forgotten the people. So people in Kenya, definitely remember that. Scorpion Jackson, Mohammed Abdi, Henry Udeo Bangu, Udeo Udeo Bangu, Rizvan Eliev. I can't get sorry. Thank you. Is that is that uh, Ukrainian? Thank you. Or Russian? Halim Asem. Matthias Lamos, Lorena, Omar, Almidfa, Sudan Samoweed, Kweta, Tibetina Lusakova, Luchakova, Lucha? Am I correct? Matt Frank, David Novak. These are the latest subscribers, followers. Thank you. Thank you all. Sorry, am I in the wrong spot, right? I apologize. I'm very sorry. You're right here. So, all these are the latest followers. I want to say thank you. So our goal is to reach 50,000 and we uh, we have 400 left. Thank you all for following and I do appreciate it. Very kind of you. Keep it up. Keep the great work and you are absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. As I said, if you want to check out the subscribers, when more discussions, in-depth questions, are a badge, if you want more exclusive content, definitely follow my subscribers group. So if it's not free. Nope, nothing free. Nothing cheap here. We don't do cheap. We don't do free. If you want more content on a deeper level, then definitely join our subscribers group. Something we're launching soon. So if you want to be joining us before we launch, definitely. But we're launching in a few days when we launch it. So we've created the content. We've created all the stuff in there. If you want to join us, be the, if you want to beat the crowds and be the first to be there, there's a reward. So I won't tell you unless you join. But feel free to subscribe and join my private group yes a small fee it's not a fee it's just a membership fee that's it if you like it yeah you can subscribe anytime you can, if you don't like it you can leave anytime as well but definitely think about it if you want more content if you like the content that i'm giving definitely it's for you then feel free to join me oh we should end it's been one hour and a half so a big shout out to everyone who has liked the page as you can see people coming in let's see rolling in people sharing sharing 100k followers, Robert Zorowski. 100k, oh, thank you. See, when somebody this big shares you, Robert Zorowski, like that, that is a big thing. So I'm gonna say a big shout out to this guy. He has actually shared my posts. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing the post. 
Because this people can like, oh, this is a big audience here, my friend. So this is a uh, for a person of 100k followers to share your post. People can see it and they will get back to my page. So that's marketing for me right there. I'm very grateful. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for sharing that post. I appreciate that. Is a lot. Is that goes a long way. Um, she said thank you for this man so he, he says over 100k followers so he shared my post he has three eight seven k what followers but he shared my post so that means i can get people from his page might his audience might like some of my stuff as well so that is the power of sharing uh people's posts when someone shares your post somebody big like this it really boosts my likes my comments because people might see people might he's endorsing my contents people on this page might come check me out and like so i'm grateful for those who are sharing the posts isn't it but this is a big dog three a seven key followers that is like 10 times my followers almost nine times my following so definitely i'm i'm grateful for that uh for that share what was his name so what was his name again uh Oh, it's gone now because there's people others have come on but definitely oh i can go back can't i let's see who shared it thank you for everyone to be honest anyway thanks for sharing everyone i appreciate it very much it's, it's kind of not saying i'm not letting anyone but i want to see the guy no it's not there robert zeromsky that's it the guy who shared my post thank you very much robert zeromsky for sharing my post today uh, thanks very much for sharing it. You have done me. You have three seven followers. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Well, that's it. So yeah. So to end this, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look at uh, our followers. So if you see your name there, a big thank you. Anthony, George, Florina, Marcos. Val, Smith, Jane, Bryant, Maoni, Lucas, that one I don't know, thank you, Jahir, Elias, Anna, Sakaya, Koroinamara, Koinamara, Soro Vakawalu. Ooh, Vakawalu. Akonolulu, is that Hawaii, Fiji? Soro Vakawalu. Solomon Islands, Rasjani, Ethiopia, Henley, thank you, Us Ursula. Pame Pame, Steven, Re, C for one, Zach, Malili, Goran, Rui, Timoshi, is that Timothy, Timoki, Timoshi, Timosi, Powell, Victorio, Philaso, Farel, Dean, Josko, uh, Josko, I'm not sure, from Croatia, oh my goodness, Josko, 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 Oh, I don't know, I speak my, my Croatian, I learned some Croatian. Thank you, Frankie, Chris, Buland, Shukur, George, Georgia, Tony, Jos. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, I don't know that, thank you. Livio, Gabriel, Bioman, Richard, Assalamu alaikum, Billy Maltais, thank you. Jonas, Mohammed, Scorp Scorpion, oh, Jackson. Rodney Smith, Henry, Udio Bangu, Lisbon, Robin. Thank you. Privet, 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 one of those. Thank you. Halim, Omar, Matthias, Sudan. Oh, Greta, Luchakova. Uh, how do you pronounce that word? Greta, Chiveta. That's very interesting. Sorry, I gotta pronounce the word. Greta trans translation. I like this, not new words. Oh, it's Czech. It's a Czech word. Oh, oh, thank you from the Czech Republic. Bravo. Omar, so Peter, Matt, Polis, Jens, Brett, Gordon, Gregory, ah, Ahmad, Hussein, Faniel. So let's go on. I can't mention all of you. It's quite a lot, but all of you who are watching, I do say thank you very much. You a great work with positive vibes. And congratulations for making the right decision. You have made the right choice. I repeat, you have made the right choice by following this page. You have made a great decision in your life. Yes, you, my friend, have made the right choice by following my page. 
you are a genius for doing this you are an amazing person you have made the right choice okay you are a genius for following the page you are amazing you're fantastic you are a superstar you're a master you follow my page i intend you a master you become a master you have done a great favor you've done the world you're serving the world by following my page i'm gonna be checking here i'm gonna be check a bit checky confident a bit arrogant by following my page you're being you're serving the world <laughs> confidence is confidence isn't it i'm gonna be checky here and step out of the bus and say you my friend i've done a great job by following my page you are confident you're wise you i deem you by the 14 invested in me i make you a master that's it by following the page you have become great i put for you my congratulations and jubilations where is it thank you all for following i appreciate your kindness your gestures your generosity goes far by you sharing the content you make this kindness you saying thank you there we are congratulations and jubilations thank you very much for tuning in there's plenty more of you you guys are amazing just by doing this you have made the greatest choice you've made in your life the best decision ever this is a great choice you have made you are fantastic Inisha, Francis, Ali, look at all these great people fine people, beautiful souls beautiful, look at those beautiful eyes, beautiful teeth, beautiful hair great people, fantastic people, all of you are amazing keep up the great work, it's a positive tone oh you are great masters now, I give you my disciples go forth and preach the good word that Joshua is here go forth, tell your friends, tell your family you have done a great job, you are fantastic, you're gonna get lots of good things, I won't tell you but you have made the first step in serving the world heal the world, make it a better place by following Joshua's page on Facebook heal. back on live are we back that's yes, we are back thank you so it's so a big shout out uh on right here i think that's the time saying that's enough that's the universe that's god saying that's it time over i've got, I've got my limit limit to greedy let me not outshine the master <laughs> cheeky but in summary definitely so heal the world, make the better place, must find the master within you. You are the master. Find the master within you and master your fears. And then outshine yourself. But if you're a workplace, if you're in a job, make sure you're careful who you're pleasing or who you're shining. Remember this. On a positive tone, master your fears, become the master, learn how to improve yourself and become better. So I love you all. Thank you very much for tuning in tonight. It was great. It was a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed me. I enjoyed your company very much. I hope it was a good pleasure to your company. I hope you enjoyed the night and I hope you share the video with your friends and your people as well. If you're new, subscribe. I'll join the subscribers group and we shall see you tomorrow night, Tuesday 26th at 9 p.m. for the Joshua Jehuda show. Have a great night and we shall see you again. Take care.